Good morning. Well, for me, it's episode 22 of the Creator Club mode. Since you last joined us, it's been going a bit shit. And I've got some bad news. So we played this game last, which was quite funny. I quite enjoyed it. We lost, but we had an interesting... Finished with an interesting formation. The old one, two, seven. Uh, but we couldn't get the equaliser. And then we had a ball draw with Walsall. Absolutely nothing happened. Didn't even get a yellow card. That's how boring it was. And then a one all draw with Millwall, which is well, not too bad a result. Our defensive midfielder, Jack Finch, popped up with the second goal, the third goal of the season. And then Sid Nelson, 92nd minute equaliser. Bit annoying. And then we come to Oldham. We lost 1 0. Early goal. Couldn't get it back. But more importantly, Gary Kerr has a little red circle on his name. The legend in the making that is Gary Kerr is out for three months with a broken ankle. Yeah. Yeah. As you know, our striking options are limited. Um, Barrington has been... It looks good here. Uh, six goals in seven starts. But he can't score in the league. He just scores against shit cup opponents. Our only other real option is Jamie Frost, who's not really a striker either. We are currently in December. So I think we hobble to the end of the year and then uh, get a lone striker. I think probably the best bet. We can't really afford to buy anyone. So, yes. Not good news, people. And I'm not too worried about the actual injury itself. It's a bit of a bummer for this season. I don't think we're going to automatic promotion anyway. Who knows? But uh, it's just going to stifle his development, which is the which is a key, uh, which is a killer. He's eight, he's just turned 18, and he's improving. His finishing's gone up one. Woo woo. Um, and. Uh, I just don't want him to stifle his development because I want to keep this kid around for a while. He's going to end up shit, isn't he? I, I've given him all this hype and stuff and he's just going to end up marginally average. So anyway, let's get on with it. We've got the FA Cup second round versus MK Dons. We beat them recently 3-1 at home and we're playing them at home again. So um, with the Cup Specialist Barrington, you know, what can go wrong? Oh dear, Barrington. Barrington, Barrington. He's the man. He's got this. This is, I suppose, this is his chance to shine. <laughs> I'm trying to think of positives. It's not. It's not. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know how many games I'd give him before Frost comes on. Um, but it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Playing the same formation. It's unusual. I've not seen any other YouTube series playing this sort of, I don't know, stick man formation. Uh, after our recent one, we should try and encourage them. Good shout, Wilmot. Yeah, so, any other news? Um, I recently just... Last night I uploaded a brand new series, not a career mode, although I will be doing one shortly, but a like squad and club guide. I mentioned to you guys about doing it, I think in a previous episode, I floated the idea. Um, so basically I'm sort of going to go through a club, and this is for sort of people that are just either just getting into FM or just trying to work out which team to pick. That's the, that's the sort of target group I'm going for, is that... Oh Jesus! After a while, if you played, you know, you might play your favourite team and then play somebody else and then go. Oh, I don't know who to load. So what I'm trying to do is build a a big sort of group of videos that you can just sort of go. Okay, let's have a look. So the first one I've done, I just was going to start in the Premiership. Did Arsenal alph alphabetically? There's no bias. Um, and just went through what the club expect from you, your finances, transfer budgets, salary budgets, your youth system, the actual squad currently, what might need improving, what might 
what is you know the best players and stuff, which is you know quite easy. I was jealous because I looked at Arsenal's bank and they had like three hundred and thirty million in the bank. <laughs> I was like, that's not fair. But yeah, and, I, and I, on the video itself, if you leave a comment, I'm going to do all the Premiership teams first, and then we'll, if there's interest, we'll go down to the Championship and League One and League Two and stuff. Um, but what? I have no particular order that I'm going to do the Premiership team. So if there's a particular Premiership team you want to see, go and leave a comment in that video as to which one you'd like to see next. Right, this is another exciting live televised game here. Barrington, I haven't seen him at all. Um, Jamal Blackman actually played well in the last couple of games and made a really good double save in the last game. So I'm hoping he'll come good. Also, on one of the... Because I'm just talking lots because this, this game is boring as shit, isn't it, really? Um... I'm playing Furlong as attacking mid just because he's complaining he's not getting enough game time. So I'll give him a few starts. So I had a comment about um, somebody saying, oh, I'm looking to start a new FM YouTube channel. I want them to know how you make your intros and stuff. I was thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining that's sarcastic <laughs> uh, because I don't have an intro. Um, but it's a fair comment. Um... As as a viewer myself, I'm not bothered about intro. Like a, the only thing that annoys me about intros is when they're too long. It's like thirty seconds of flashy graphics. I think down the line I'll just get a small one, maybe five seconds, just saying my name and rubbish like that. Um, but if you if it if it is something you guys really want, I will get onto it sooner. Um, I don't think it's critical. Wow, that was a dull game, wasn't it? We had twenty one shots apparently. You would have known it by the highlights. I'll tell them they're unlucky. Because what... I don't know how much you guys know about YouTube, but basically, if you if I record a video like this, I'm using OBS to record my videos, so um, I can just hit record, record a video, save the file, and then... Ooh, somebody wants Pell. Get him off the books. That would be nice. No money, but you'll probably reject it because they're bastards. Record the video, send it to, uh, upload it to YouTube, which takes 20 minutes-ish. Uh, go into Photoshop and make a thumbnail for the video, do the description and all the tags and all that sort of stuff, and then upload it. So I can sort of upload relatively quickly while the while one's uploading. I can start working recording another one. Um, I do have two monitors, so I can sort of do all the fiddly stuff on the other monitor. Uh, De Bruyne, he's one of my favourite players. I think he's quality. Uh, Heart should be dropped by England. Nobody cares. Three. We're still in the draw, aren't we? Because yeah, let's. Uh, See if we get anybody. I probably shouldn't have done this. Probably gonna take twenty minutes in there. I'll just stop it if a big team comes out. I'm happy. I want one of the big clubs away. I don't want to get. I'm not bothered about getting through the round. I want like a. Ooh. Oh fuck off, Scunthorpe. Away. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> it's the dream tie, lads. It's the dream tie. Weekend at Scunthorpe. So with the videos so that's how it works currently if I was to say I wanted to add an intro little sort of five ten seconds at the beginning and I wanted to add a bit at the end saying watch my next videos and stuff like this or a little screen that says follow me on Twitter or something like that or even a webcam in the bottom corner those sort of stuff I could record those all at the same time but then I would need to go into a editing program and mash them all together, make sure they're all fit, add all the bits I want to add, and then I have to render it. And rendering basically takes all those parts that you've made, like your webcam is a separate part to your game capture, and yeah, um, a, 
any sort of images or little videos you want to add at the front or the back. They're all sort of separate chunks. So yes, he's actually gone. Bloody hell. And then you render it. So what that's doing is taking all those parts and then squishing them all together. Because I'm technical like this. If it's too much, too much, if it's too technical, tell me. Squishing it together and produces one video file that you can then upload to YouTube. And but that takes a little bit of time in itself. The rendering process, obviously, the editing takes time. The rendering takes time. Um, and also, my computer is not the best in the world, so. I would have to rent it would I'm not sure how my computer would handle playing the game whilst rendering another video I think it might sort of chug a little bit so that's why I've kept it to a nice simple formula especially early on because like I said in a previous video I want to get loads of videos up for you guys I don't want you to come onto my channel and watch a video and go oh that was good I enjoyed that let's watch part two. Oh, great there's only two parts you know and wait days for the next one it's also why you see even like professional youtubers and stuff only uploading once a day and you think well oh, surely you could do five six or six a day but actually because of all sort of the editing and the rendering that's what's that's the time consumer not the actual recording of the video especially especially if you're doing loads of jump cuts all over the place and you know stuff like that but I'll probably do a mixture down the line I'll probably sort of do a mixture of both do we make any changes the thing is, Furlong needs some game time. I don't want to piss him off because I think he's a decent youngster. Okay. I could give Frost a start. He's bagged in five goals this season. Harold and Martin has played a lot of games, so we'll... Okay, we'll do that. I tried Brannigan at, on the wing, but it, it, it's not his position at all. You'd call me more a go in centre mid. He's not played for a while. Our right back, Tafari Moore, is pissed off because he didn't get enough games. But he's playing alright, 6.98. That's not too bad. Our defence is looking better now, sort of uh, stat wise. Um, there is a screen here where you can actually click the little graphy things and it shows you their average rating, which is quite nice. Um, I don't know if it's. Yeah, unfortunately it's average rating for all the games he's played, not just for that position, which would have been nice. Um, but, you know, it's a nice little thing that I'll probably never use again. Okay. Let's go. We're playing third in the league, which is going to be very, very tricky. Barnsley. After this video is made, I'm going to watch the Tottenham Arsenal game. Should be a goodie, hope so, hope so. Right, come on, let's have some highlights. There we go. Kick off, good kick off highlight. Yeah, that was exciting, wasn't it? Mm, scrappy in the midfield. They've got like, they're bunching that midfield. That's a good ball through, that's a great ball, and that's a goal. Ah, Will Keane, that's the Man United kiddie, isn't it? Okay, okay, don't worry about it, it's a good start. Bounce back, no worries. First time ball. Oh, the angles, the goalkeeper angles are so bad. <laughs> they run out at the most bizarre angles. I'm really hoping that gets fixed. Sip of tea for good luck. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Uh, I'm starting, Marcel, what are you doing offside? I'm starting to think about formation changes. We've been playing up, we've had three get bad games, so it's not like it's not working. We're mid table for a newly promoted side, it's not the worst thing in the world. And we're playing Barrington up front. Oh. I might try going back to the instead of having the defensive midfielder, having the two centre midfielders. I can't go to up top because I literally don't have one up top, let alone two players to play there. Um, 
my team is built around having wingers, so there's, I'm kind of limited. I've got a small squad that I can just suddenly play 4 4 2 or something. I've got to be sort of mindful of those things. I'll probably give this a couple, a couple more games, I think. Let's see if it goes tits up. But, you know, away against Barnsley. Very tricky game. Even Big Bad Barrington can't save us. Um, I'm not fucking happy. I'm not going to say I'm happy, but I'm not going to get too... Yeah, I think, I think that's quite a good one. Why are you stressed by that? I'm just saying to give the fans a performance. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm not threatening your family, dude. <laughs> you know, when when players are say, look, you know, I'm, I'm not getting enough football, and you say, okay, I'll start you in the next few matches, do they still get pissed off if you sub them quite soon? We'll find out, won't we? Because I want Brannigan on there because he's a better player. <laughs> Yeah, so like I said, all the editing stuff and, and, and will come. There'll be some fun stuff, and I might do some webcam stuff. Um, as a viewer of lots of FM channels, I'm not too bothered about if they've got a webcam or not. Um, but if you guys want to see it, let me know. Mm -mm, come on. Winnell plays it back to the left back. Bennett floats one in. Good clearance. On the break, possibly Mitchell to Barrington. Oh, he's kept it to Butler, the left back, looking for options. Plays it down the line. Barrington speeds onto it. Is he going to cross it in? Whips it in. Brannigan. Frost. Oh, is it the crossbar? Better, better lads. See, stat wise, we're still bit of our own. Like, bit of our own. Well, I didn't even know that. That's not even English. 50% possession. That's offside. That's offside, ref. Bollocks. Bollocks. That's offside. 50% possession. Same amount of shots. Um, just haven't created the clear cut opportunities or the half chances. We only have one. I thought that was off. That's bullshit. It'd be nice to get one, boys. Come on. Oh, tell them assertive, assertively. Where's your passion? What can I say? Show some passion. Show some fucking passion. For the 17 fans that travelled to away games. Oh man. Oh, this is. Okay. Is that his hat trick? Oh. Okay, I didn't mind being beaten. It was going to be a really tricky game, but. I didn't want to get thumped. So Bennett just gets turned. Butler's not looking where the ball's coming from. And Will Keane just gets a simple tap in for three. We are 4 0 down now, people. Hmm. <laughs> I'll just, just get on with it, lads. There's nothing I could do at this point, apart from maybe give. Um, somebody some game time. He's the only player that doesn't really get much game time, so. Uh, and we'll give. Who needs match sharpness more? The lesbian needs a bit of match sharpness. Oh, man. Shit, wasn't it? Shit. Yeah, we're going to struggle. We are blunter than. A blunt object at the moment without uh, our main man. Oh, see, see. <laughs> hey, take it back. It was like having Van Nistelrooy in his heyday up front. Bradigan, see Bradigan, the assist master. Simple tap in. Even Barrington couldn't miss that. Okay, that gives me just a little bit of hope there. Just a little bit of hope. Poor Barrington, he gets so much abuse. And he's injured. 
Wow, got those subs. Booze Greer Bar, that's fine, mate. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's not like ribs are an important part of the body. It's not like they protect vital organs and stuff, is it? It's only bruised. Oh, I'm getting destroyed here. Randall, great ball across. Ransom does well. Oh, he's going to get turned. Oh, great bit of tackling. Wilkinson comes away with it. Oh, a bit of head tennis. Mulholland plays it through to Keane. Plays it out wide to Randall. Lovely ball. Whips it back into Keane. Repays the favour. Keane gets his fourth goal of the game. My word. I wonder if they picked him up on a free or if he's on loan. Oh, that was a lovely one too. Long distance one too. Oh, the little bit of hope I had. It's now turned into a 5-1. Come on, let's get one more. Come on, boys. Finch plays it across to Moore. Barring Brannigan. Mitchell. Oh, saved by Bunn. Corner ball. Moore with the corner. Floated one into the penalty spot. Headed away, but Moore's going to get it back. Looking for option. Plays it through to the centre-back. Racine didn't really want it. Look at the stats. It's not 5-1, is it? You wouldn't go... If you had to guess the result from looking at those stats, you wouldn't say 5-1. you maybe say 2-1 to them. Just because they created another, an extra clean clear cut chance, half chance, couple more shots. I've got to go aggressive because five is not good. Okay. It's tight. It's tight anyway. Look, 30 points. We're only five points off second still. So, and that's with that loss. We got, um, we all good, we're all good people. Well, okay, we might as well make this a triple header because we have the uh, replay of the Brains is up for 10 days of the uh, FA Cup. Oh, do I stick with this formation? Yes, yes, we beat MK Dons with this formation like two weeks ago. Admittedly, we had a striker at that point. So I think Frost is going to have to play up front. What? Oh, that's depressing, isn't it? Oh, don't show me that. Connor Furlong's doing well. I wonder if I can play Brannigan at centre mid. So I can play Furlong and Brannigan. Let's have a look. Let's delve in. It's away now, this leg, though. Oh, we need a scun thought though, it's not much of a prize, is it, if we win this game? It's like the worst sort of draw, you're probably gonna get beaten and you didn't make a load of cash for it. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, nobody cares. Okay, so next striker on the blocks. Bringing in the back the lesbian. Bring back the lesbian. Sounds like a thing. Um, Brannigan. Yeah, you don't mind a bit of centre midfield action, do you? I might try to give you a shot. Yes, let's give you a shot. Okay. <laughs> I think this is it. Yep. As I said always before, the defensive midfield roles, like ball-winning midfield roles, or even centre midfield roles that are defensive-minded just don't get a good rating regardless. Regardless. I hope they fix it. Right. They've got a few injuries. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Let's do this. So with the Scunthorpe game, there is a tiny possibility we could win that game. Scunthorpe are, aren't a great team. Only one division above. It is away, though. So 
let's just win this one and we'll work that one out next. Uh, we should challenge team to go out and prove a point. Show the world what this team is all about. I think you're, it's the second round of the FA Cup, mate. I don't think the world are watching. But I like you. <laughs> the fact that you even thought that might be true is good. Here we go. Let's see some goals, yeah? Here, can, here they come. Brannigan, free kick. Through to Finch. Martin, through ball. Bosch, furlong. That's a goal. Oh, against his former team. Oh. Excellent. What if he shushed the fans? Lovely ball through. Top corner. Pick it out, son. Oh, half empty stadium and the MK Dons. <laughs> it's like we're not a big draw or something, the mighty Mudford Town. What I'll do after this game is we'll finish this episode here and then I'll probably run up to beginning of January for the next one so I'll do a month offline no Spence no Spence Nicky Maynard it's not fair they've got players I've heard of <laughs> not fair you know you've made it as a lower league team and you can you buy somebody that you've actually heard of before It's okay, it's okay. It's still early doors. Started well, they've had one shot. Oh, I'm not sure about Blackman. <sighs> Blackman's stats, he's really good aerially because he's six foot six. How could you not be? But I don't know if he's like quick enough, like his reflexes. Oh, Furlong! Got a point to prove against his old team for letting him go. I got him on a free, so they must have just let his contract run out. He is up for this. He's taking corners. He's taking everything. Go on, and again, son. Plays it across. Geraldo Martin. Turn Frost. Oh, Geraldo Martin. Blasts it at the defender. It's good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Wyatt with the throw. And Brannigan plays it across to Finch. Is he looking to turn? Yes, he does. Mitchell. Frost. Oh. Play it back, play it back. Yes, and again, and again. Go on. This is really good pressure. Oh, I couldn't beat his first man. Come on, we need a second goal while we're dominating. We are dominating. Come on. So what do you guys think of the uh, FM so far? I think it's been the best beta release for a while because there's been some shockers. For anyone that um, buys the pre uh, buys it pre-order and gets into beta, Mitchell through ball looked marginally offside. Oh, he scrambled Lindegard. Um, yeah, you, if you pre-order it, you get the beta for like two weeks. And there's been a couple of shockers. That's there's been a couple of sort of if you play the game for any length of time, it's been unplayable. There's been so many bugs, not usually like technical bugs, but just like usually match engine bugs that. You know, like players not being able to kick a ball or something. That was a really good first half. I'm going to encourage them because I'm going to assertively say I'm pleased with how things are going. Keep up. Love, they're loving it. They are loving it. Oh, if only we had a striker. <sighs> Might have to bring Emil Heskey out of retirement. Come on, boys. Yeah, good loan signing. Good loan signing, that's what we need. Because we can't afford anything. So, loan signing from a big team, so I don't need to pay wages. I've got a couple of thousand I can put on wages, but I don't really want to. Stevens is playing shocking and he's on a yellow card so we will 
remove him from the scene of his crime. They've come back into this game a little bit. Concentrate, people, concentrate. Corner. Let's come back out. Mitchell picks up the loose ball. He's looking for a cross. Gets tackled. This could be a break. Tackle him, tackle him, tackle him. Win that. Anybody? No. Is it just me? If you blow your eyes a little bit, does the their strip, the red and white, look a little bit like the Nazi symbol? <laughs> it's got the perfect colouring for it. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh. All that goes through you. Oh, great save. No, 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 black man. All that goes through your head when it's a big scramble is like, no penalty, no penalty, no penalty. Did well, they got it away. And goalkeeper made a save. I think that's the biggest issue with the beta is just the goalkeeper's animations are all wrong. They have acknowledged it, the um, d developers on the forum, just to say that the AI is picking the wrong animation. So that's why he looks like he's diving off sort of randomly or... But I felt like on FM15, when a goalkeeper was coming out or he was trying to close down an angle, he it, it, it often went the wrong direction. Like, clo you know, closing down, I think is... We're going to go to extra time here, aren't we, peeps? Extra time goodness, because that's what we need for our knackered team. We've got two subs, though. Saved them up. They won't be ready for our two subs. Yeah, we're going to come on and do the damage. Um, so we have to replace Jack Finch. He's on a yellow, and he is knackered. So Marcus Wood can come on. And then... I think in Zach Thompson's playing amazing this season, so I'm going to give him a game on the right back. All we need is a goal. All we need, lads. All we need is a goal. I'm not confident that with Blackman at, on penalties. Be honest. Unless they try and lob him and then he'll be fine. Here we go, is this our ball? Furlong, Brannigan picks it up, centre midfield, playing a deeper role today. Wood, the substitute. Uh, that's why you're a substitute, buddy. Oh look at the pace there, Will Wilkinson. <laughs> Come on, win this back. Oh, it's a great tackle, Wood. And a foo ball. I'll take it all back, you're a legend. Frost. Getting crowded out. Martin on the left wing. Deep cross. Oh, it's, I think it's pinged the crossbar. Ooh. And again, Thompson. Oh, that's unlucky. Furlong picks it up. He's had a good game, Furlong. It's his first real decent game I think he's had for us. Raldo Martin. Through ball to Frost. Looking for options. Crosses it in. <gasps> Mitchell! Get in there, son. Boosh, ball across. Keepers too, uh, defenders too deep. Mitchell slams it in, top corner. Lovely, jubbly. Okay, my sub has picked up. Oh, imagine trying to play on with a twisted knee. What do we do here, people? What do we do? Help me. Help me. Okay, we need to give some some support to Thompson. He's got a twisted knee. He's not going to be running about very fast. We've made all our substitutions. So I think I'll bring... Furlong, back as a central. I, I picked central midfielder, you bitch. Central midfielder, defend on that right hand side.
This could be a formation we look to actually. Um, do we drop our wingers back? I don't want to go too defensive because we've got 15 minutes left. Let's just have a look. We'll drop a little bit deeper. Take off the offside trap. Mm, clear the ball to the flanks. Play a little bit now. Just tighten it up. Use tighter marking. Stick to positions. And we'll go a bit more structured so people don't go wandering off. 15 minutes, hang on. We've got 11 men. Well, we've got sort of 10 and a half men. I have to watch that right back. This could be bad though for his injury. He could, he could go out for a while. You twisted knee and you have to play on for another half an hour. Is uh, It's not pretty. Oh, my team is so dead. Look at this. Hang on there, boys. Hang on. We seem to have shut the game off, so, so the tactic has, seems to have worked. Touch wood. Blow up, ref. Just blow up, blow up, blow up. Yes! Great result. Away from home. Six games without a win. That was fantastic. I was going to say, no real recognised striker, but that's a little bit unfair to my team. <laughs> Excellent. Give us the cash monies. Give us the cash monies. Four weeks, Zach Thompson. Twenty-seven thousand pound. Thousand pound. Look at look at the money. Hundred oh. grand in the red. Oh well. All right, we've got the mighty Scunthorpe. That are racking the gate receipts. So Finch is telling us, yeah, yeah, we've we're taking a bit of a hit here, people. We're gonna, it's going to be a limp through to Jan to January, I think. I will leave the episode there. Thank you very much for your watchings and listenings. Please like and comment and subscribe and stuff. Be much appreciated. I will see you in the next episode. I think, like I said, I think we'll just run through to beginning of January. Um. Yeah, so we'll come back for the Scunthorpe game. Excellent, perfect. Hopefully, we can get a lone player that would be nice wouldn't it we've got a couple of tricky games we've got a double header against Yeovil oh they're, they're 19th so maybe not but Port Pompey are top Notts County are 4th and then we've got Sheffield United double header that's quite weird anyway thank you very much for joining me guys I will speak to you soon love you all bye bye